He inspires his teammates to be better than they are. He inspires the coaches to coach better, the players to play better. He, uh, he, play, he inspires the other team. Jeremiah San Nicolas is an eighth grader at Eagle Middle School. He's also a proud member of the football team. He was born with so many health challenges, but this kid won't let anything hold him back. He wants to be on that field with his team, and that's just where he's been all season. He is an inspiration to all, especially his coach. Maggie O'Mara takes us to Eagle Middle School for this week's Touching Sevens Hero. Jeremiah San Nicolas loves game days. The intensity of the game and being able to be out on the field with everybody else. This season, I feel like I actually have a connection with every single one of the teammates. This four foot 10, 75 pound kid is now an Eagle Middle School cult. He absolutely loves football. And not only does he love football, but he considers this his family. He's the new kid at school this year. This is a new team and a brand new start. That's just what he needed. You know, Jeremiah's had coaches in the past that viewed him more as, unfortunately, a problem. Um, and this coach has just taken it to a whole new level. Heels in 15! That incredible football coach is Justin Eastland. He just never quits, doesn't quit on life, doesn't quit on football, doesn't quit on his teammates or his coaches or his family. He's got all the heart in the world and he's just from the day he was born he came into this world and he's just had to fight for every scrap that he can get he deals with um bone dysplasia he deals with ms um he does have a valve issue in his heart um he deals with severe scoliosis that's going to require surgery so he's a walking medical miracle altogether um and with the right surgeons and with a little bit of help from god He'll be okay. Jeremiah's mom, Joanne, worries about him getting hurt, but she knows this is where his heart is. This is where he wants to be, on the football field. The coaches always try to get him in. They very much put his safety first, um, which is 100% the priority. This year, coaches made several different plays just for me to get in. We have to devise ways of getting Jeremiah onto the field where he can stay out of harm's way. His teammates take pride in protecting him during their games. They go out there and they play and they, they hit hard and they open those gaps to let Jeremiah get in so he can have something that's his own. This season, he ran for a touchdown. I just grabbed these two kids that, that play for us. I said, listen, nobody touches Jeremiah. We get him into the end zone untouched. He didn't just get it from the one yard line. He got to run 65 yards. It was a run he'll never forget. It was really good. Really good that I got in the end zone with my teammates. Everything he does just, just shows that it doesn't matter what you were given in life, that you can overcome and give everything that you have to this game. And it's just an inspiration to everyone who, who sees him, whether it's on the field or off the field. This is Jeremiah's last season. His doctors say playing is just too risky. He has major heart and scoliosis surgeries ahead of him, and his medical bills are mounting. Coach Eastland had an idea. He put together a GoFundMe, and he shared from his heart about how much Jeremiah inspires him. It was every kind word that he could have thought to say about him. It just encapsulated everything he brings to everyone else. I want to share something amazing, Jeremiah, just let me know. I've been picked on, laughed at, put down, and I've always just wanted to be seen as everyone else. They see me, Mom. They see me as a person, not a problem. And I just let him know that I hope you share this with the coaches because they've made an impact on him forever. Just thank you for showing him that he's a person and not a problem. The donations are pouring in, and Coach Eastland is so grateful to the community. Thank you. I believe that it's important that we take what, what we have, what, no matter how much it is, and just give a little bit to him so that he can have the same quality of life that everybody else gets to have in this valley. We're, we're really a, we're, we're a blessed valley, and I want him to be a part of that. Jeremiah San Nicholas has found a home here at Eagle Middle School. Coach cares about every single one of his players. And he says if he can't play next year, he'll come back and help coach. 
He just wants to be a part of the game that he loves so very much. He doesn't say no for an answer. Not from me, not from coaches, not from the biggest kids on the field. He believes in himself. It's so inspiring. 7-0. Good people there. Well, Maggie tells us we have one more thing to celebrate. Jeremiah was surprised with the Student Athlete of the Week Award at Eagle Middle. The season is over for the Colts, but J-Dog, as his coach and the team calls him, enjoyed every minute. For more on this story and a link to the GoFundMe page, visit this story on our website at ktvb.com.